Hey, how you doing guys? Uh, before we get to the topic in hand, uh, I kind of want to give you some good news for myself. And of course I talked about um, my last video that I talked to Spectrum, my internet service provider, about upgrading from 30 download speed to maybe 50 download speed. It usually costs 10 bucks every time you upgrade the internet speed. Um, they told me they could give me three times the speed at a cheaper price that I'm actually paying for internet and television. And I asked them, well, are they going to um, charge me after a year and grandfather me in and then charge me a higher price? They said they wouldn't, but we'll see. Spectrum has been pretty good to me so far. And they told me to be able to do this, they're going to have to upgrade my modem. Uh, currently, the modem that, that I have is Doxis 3. And they told me the new modem is still Doxis 3, but somehow it's got some hardware in there that will allow for the faster download speeds up to 120 megabits per second download. But I'm like, okay. But I've been checking the uh, internet upload and download speeds to see if it would still work. And I just tested it not too long ago. And yes, lo and behold, I do uh, get 100 megabits per second download and I'm getting 10 megabits per second upload speed as well, which is kind of funny because for the consumer version of the internet, the most that you can upload supposedly is five megabits per second, even though uh, of all the um, options they offer, but uh, this upload speeds upgraded as well, which I'm more than willing to take. So uh, I'm really happy on that. Uh, at least so far, unless they uh, put in some surprise charges or raise my um, bill after a year or two, we'll see. Of course, I can always downgrade, I guess, if I have to. Okay, to the topic at hand, and I've been kind of poking my nose around the Black Magic site, and now they have something called the Black Magic Video Assist, uh, which comes in two versions. They have the uh, video Assist, which is 1080p, and the Video Assist 4K. Obviously, we'll record in 4K. Of course, it is a field monitor for prosumer and professional cameras, as well as video recorder. That records in um, Apple ProRes in different flavors and uh, Avid uh, DNX HD. And those are the two probably standard uh, codecs across different video editors. Now, what I found kind of strange is the Avid file DNxHD comes in an MXF wrapper, which is kind of strange to me why they would do that. Why don't just keep the uh, regular Avid file uh, extension or whatever container? But it made me think, um, of course, I reported on this a, a couple of months ago. Apple announced they are going to drop older file formats, such as Avid's file uh, file format for its video files, such as DNxHD. So it makes sense why Blackmagic would decide to um, put these Avid files in an MXF wrapper, allowing it to be imported into things like uh, uh, Final Cut Pro 10 and even Compressor. Uh, and Compressor has been upgraded to even allow export of MXF files. So it's fully supported in that their ecosystem of their own um, first party apps. Of course, I've mentioned before, I am not happy with how Apple's been handling uh, its Pro Video Codex of late, for instance, dropping some of the older versions. And I think they really need to keep the Avid version because it's pretty much standard across most video editors and they even stop supporting windows as far as their video pro video codexes allowing them to install on windows so um users won't be able to use prores within their video editor of choice which sucks big time now uh companies like um adobe's premiere pro creative cloud have found a workaround where supposedly they can import and edit ProRes files, so that's good to see. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how they did this, but it's great to see. So I kind of wanted to update you on uh, those couple of things. So um, thanks for watching, and see you guys later.